In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? Some say John the Baptist, they answered. Others say Elijah, while others say Jeremiah or some other prophet. What about you, he asked them. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Good for you, Simon, son of John, answered Jesus. For this truth did not come to you from any human being, but it was given to you directly by my Father in heaven. And so I tell you, Peter, you are a rock, and on this rock I will build my church, and not even death will ever be able to overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Yesterday, the church celebrated two of the greatest saints, Saint Peter, the first Pope who continued the mission of Jesus after he returned to heaven, and Saint Paul, the great apostle, writer and evangelist. Both men travelled far and wide teaching about Jesus and sharing the gospel message before heading to Rome, where they were both killed for their faith in Jesus. These two men are often called the two pillars supporting the church. In the Gospel today, Jesus gives Peter his name, which means rock, and tells him that he will be the strong foundation of his church. The church that Jesus wanted to build was not a physical building. Jesus meant us. We are the church, every single one of us. The church is a community who proclaim the truth and faith of the apostles, and we are each called to build the church in our own way and spread the good news. May the Lord, who gladdens us with the glorious memory of the apostles Peter and Paul, enable us to listen to their teaching with open hearts and devotion and transmit it with faithfulness so that the gospel message may reach to the ends of the earth. Amen. Lord Jesus, you chose Saints Peter and Paul to take the good news to the world and to build your church. May we, as members of your church and the great family of God, always share the gospel, seek to do good and love everyone as you taught us to. We pray especially for Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, that he will be filled with the Holy Spirit and boldly lead the church to beauty, goodness and truth. Hear all our prayers, which we make through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>